Hola, amigas. No. Bienvenido to <laughs> Horrible Decisions. What, bitch? That was real Spanish. That wasn't even an accent. Horrible. Oh I, I said, don't know what Hola, adios, happened. Amigos. I can't say... Bro, really why inspired. why do you be looking so fed up with me, bro? I don't know. I don't like that y'all come back from vacation to start speaking Spanish like she that. She came back from Jamaica. <laughs> Jamaica. Came back from Jamaica. I don't like that, that you, came you came back from Jamaica and started speaking Spanish. Say everything I remind. No, that's <laughs> awful too, okay? <laughs> the fact no. that Mandy is actually Jamaican and does a terrible... I don't believe it. I d bro, you better not be... Much <laughs> Listen, we're coming for your ass this episode. <laughs> oh Anyways, guys, this is your girl Anyways, Mandy B, <laughs> aka that bitch, aka Full Court Pumps, aka Peg and Markle. Um, <laughs> I like that one. You know, you feel me, bro? When I tell you the face of Wheezy, bro, chill, bro. I'm not being shady. Like I'm judging. <laughs> Why? So we're doing this again. I'm not trying to. We have guess. two other guests. Though. Weezy, I must say it's the same thing. Th thank, thank you. I don't. I just. I've been listening. I've been listening. You Shady is oh, judging. Well, let me okay, okay. Shady is a nice, nasty, like, like <laughs> nice, nasty. For example, like, <laughs> oh, oh, so that your holes in your pants. You wanted to do that. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my God! Right? I Bro. just got here. <laughs> That's she Shady. Just, we didn't even intro her. Judging Bro. is like, why would you have holes in your pants? Like, no, I just, okay. Okay. I feel like you the don't first do nice, one was nasty. worse. So, shady, but shady is when you're like trying to be nice, nasty. I don't like that. Mm. One is direct shade and one is like sly shade. Yes. It, it's I, still shade though. It's still shade. It's still nasty. Mm, I see your point. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't see why. I mean, we whole, say no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Guys, we are joined today by two of three though. We are yes. missing a third. They are of the Black Girls Texting podcast which i actually You're, was on three four years ago now you were yeah. our first guest wheezy also went on Crazy. black girls texting yes. as well. when i was in mexico i think yes <laughs> <laughs> um so i'm excited to have a conversation with again more women podcasters yep. yes um so you guys have been doing this for how long and when i came on y'all had four correct no it was three of us was it but three we had jim oh jim, jim okay producer. it was another third it was like four what happened did you guys break up what's tea <laughs> no, no no we still love jim jam shout out to jim jam yeah okay. jim jam studios no we used to record in person and then i moved to california you moved to california yeah and are you friend. me it's possible. <laughs> it's possible. We're finding she similarities. Know how to stay home. We're finding like, similarities. Let me tell you. I always think sometimes because like Mandy and I. I think you said to me a few days ago, not a few weeks ago, on a call. Like I'm going to be podcasting for like five years. I feel like that's my time frame, right? And assuming that we will do this for five years, I'm like, year three. I'm going to have a moment and eat, pray, love. And how am I going to tell Mandy? And I feel like it's going to be like, I just really need to center myself and move to LA for a little bit, like. I just need this for me. I'm trying to think what I'll say. That and guess what? And, and when she I moves, like and she when she moved to LA, I'll be like, well, let me know how often you're gonna fly back to New York right. so we can record, um, or Ooh. or we just gonna bulk record a well, whole bunch of shit. Well, I did that when I shit. lived in Mexico. Yeah, like when, well. It was COVID, so we did remote. We were fine with remote, but when she was back and forth, we would like record like fucking six episodes but the, a week. Honestly, though, like, so I think that your it's podcast so commitment, like if you've made it, you should, if you're cool with in person, like we don't fuck with Zoom. That's like, what I was going to ask. Yeah. What's wrong with Zoom? This is like a Everything is wrong with energy Zoom. Energy okay. Is, yeah. uh, okay. It's very not, difficult. The energy is different. I've listened to a few of your episodes. Like, first off, y'all have some huge ass guests on your fucking platform. Oh, thank you. Uh, I was listening to the one with Robin Thicke. Yes, First off, yes. the fact that he just started singing his like songs, I was like, "He's so oh, cute." He's I'm sorry, really... let me take my glasses off. Yeah. What they had Robin Thicke as a guest to us? <laughs> it's because he likes black girls. That's oh, what yeah. Well, oh yeah, oh yeah, no, yeah, for yeah, sure, yeah. for sure. How did you guys meet him? Uh, we got connected through um, our friends at Lady Gang, which is another podcast, all women's podcast. So he just needed to see the name of yours. He was like, "Black, yeah, I'll go." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And as soon as we got on with him, he was like, oh, how's dating in New York? I was like, oh, right, man. From the jump, he was like, I heard you ladies, you know, you talk about a lot of things. Uh, how's dating in New York? I was like, oh, that's the, a lot of things. But he well, was you, amazing. Well, you know what? We The last two potters that we had are actually from the South. I guess I wanted to ask y'all, especially because we do have a, a large uh, 
listenership in New York. Let's what go. has dating been like? Or are you single? What are your pronouns? How do you identify sexually? <laughs> Weezy normally asks that. I'm, so I'm oh, a little we are all over the place asking with it. the pronoun talk. Oh, yeah, you're right. No Should we really, in trouble? Should we really have another girl podcast on right now? <laughs> Oh no! Wait, did you get it canceled or something? No, yeah. honestly, oh, she said no. <laughs> it was Mandy's fault. Was, they were mad at her, they and were. what an emphasis on they. But <laughs> oh um, Jesus! No, like we brought someone on that we wanted to discuss in nonconformity with, and there were just some slip ups, stuff like that, where um, we were fucking it up, um, you know, just stuff like that. But so no yeah. pronouns. Never mind. What? Y'all suck coochie or suck dick, and do you uh, do you have a boyfriend or, or girlfriend? I was gonna say you could do both. Yeah, um, you can, right. I'm <laughs> single. I don't really suck dick. I take dick. I don't really suck dick. You don't suck Drag dick. Her. Get her not out of here. Wait, her. wait, bitch. How old are you? <laughs> not really. I'm 28. <laughs> but like, it's not. Listen. <laughs> I'll I'll suck your dick, but you know how some people are like, oh, I love sucking not, dick. I'm what, not. What is, I'm not what enthused is by the re- it. What is the reason? <laughs> what was that reason? Um, it just doesn't like do it for me. Because you don't do it well. No, offense. no, it, it's not even that. Like I've been told, I do it pretty pretty good for it's someone not, who doesn't really suck dick. You know, they that, said it like, was pretty good. It you know wasn't how when that you're doing a good job at something and you know it, you're excited to do it. Um, yeah, if you do no, a good job, they're like, it just doesn't do it for me. Now, here's the thing. I'm you. a super sub. Not, I haven't been like tied up and all that jazz yet. But like, if you were like, bitch, come here, suck my dick and you like shove it down my throat, I'll probably be way more into well, it. Well, if it's shoved down your throat, you can't help but suck it because right. it's shoved down your throat. Correct. And that's the kind of approach. Like, if you're going to kind of be like, hmm, you suck my dick. I'll probably be like, no. Who asks like that? <laughs> Some people do, because you know, I don't. Because so, I think men think you're just gonna go straight for it, I and I'm right, though, and I don't. Do be like kind of they'll like they don't know how to ask. They don't know how to yeah, ask. Yeah, so they move if you your don't head. Offer, they I move feel your like, head. I feel like they do that when it comes to like eating the butt. They'll like do a little thing. <laughs> oh, like scooch. a little scooch, but like dick sucking. That's that's a no. Part of the I thought it was a part of the. All whole. right. So how exactly are we supposed to ask? Oh look, he you said, how, "How is the man supposed to ask to get his dick?" Well, if you're, if it's like, if you're dealing with a girl like me, it's like, "Come suck my fucking dick" or something like aggressive. Like then well, I'm, then wait, I'm. Wait, but you have a rapport with this person first, right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Like, I don't think men Maybe who not. don't have a sexual rapport with a woman should say would it be, like that. Should yeah, say I, it I like that, or would be <laughs> I'm disgusting. And I'm gonna be like, um, absolutely not. Absol- <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Like, say, but please. you pick up on my vibe. Like, I go full into like little dainty like bitch they, they know no. what to do no, they know what to do with me <laughs> I I would agree that I feel like I'm like you I get very like subby and shit like that but like yeah first off the rip like the first time it's in your mouth you want them to talk to you like, like my fucking dick bitch yes that's, that's you like, like I can like, always yeah. say bitch like I feel like that's too much I'm like bitch, yeah don't much? take her advice that will get you slapped no but it's just me if it's just me fine okay. I'll say this is a personal thing oh I'm sorry my phone's going off Damn, she done came in here right off the rip and was like, yeah, so I don't suck dick. I don't so really this is going to be dick. a great conversation. I don't really suck How many guests have we had that don't I suck do. dick? I do. I think her and Cuddy. <laughs> Who else don't suck dick, bitch? Everybody up in here be sucking dick galore. Yeah. Uh, wait. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay sorry. Hold on. I didn't know wolf. Y'all don't suck dick. I mean, for as far as like, you know, but if you hetero did, women. Judge you. Right, right. I don't haven't sucked you. dick in the studio yet, but the day's coming. Um, oh, as you should. Like, that sounds like I can't fun. believe I haven't sucked a dick in People here keep yet. asking which is the fucking couch. Everybody asks that. I always say this looks Wait, like a, have you this looks like a head couch and this looks like a fucking does, couch. Huh? You've had sex on this couch? No, I've That's not had look, sex. Because they couch. was ready to get up. What's the problem? I don't have a problem with that. No, I, do y'all think that when I, y'all go to your friends' yeah. houses that they ain't ever fucked in the kitchen, Listen, the couch? I, you better be fucking all over the house. Just wipe the shit down, or don't. Or rocks, I mean, or don't. <laughs> Yo, Mandy. I don't want my gonna house. Have guests. But I, and Febreze yeah, ain't Febreze, getting the juices Febreze. out. Oh, I thought you meant like, like a, I was thinking like a table. See? No, but I'm saying you, you should be for breathing or doing some type of couch maintenance anyways. So mm. oh. I guess I'm nasty. I mean, I got a lint roll a bit. <laughs> All right. Well, 
<laughs> well, I wanted to do an icebreaker with you, ladies. <laughs> we, we haven't broke the ice yet. I know, but this is so. This icebreaker I hate when is Mandy called, calls it that so bad. This icebreaker is called Black Girls Sexting. Ooh, Ooh Ooh, la la. Like that, right? yeah. Ooh, bitch, don't edit as a segment. I'm gonna come for y'all ass. <laughs> God forbid. Like, <laughs> like Mandy made the word. <laughs> don't you dare call your texting well, do you want to know something? <laughs> when people see the like, when they see it all in one word, like it looks like it black looks girls like texting black girls or sexting. sexting. Like all together, people are oh. like, "What's your podcast about exactly?" <laughs> I love it. Oh, Me too. Yeah, fuck them. What? What? Can I ask before the icebreaker? What's your podcast about? Oh yeah, that'd be helpful. So I'll go. It's about black millennial women. It's kind of like a banal name, texting. Everyone texts because black women are women. I feel like in media we're portrayed either as like Olivia Pope, super black excellence, or like downtrodden. Tyler Perry and it's like we're just living like day to day lives. The fact that you just said Tyler Perry for women? No, like, <laughs> no, like all his movies. We know he like, Medea, bit, but goddamn, no, all his movies. The woman is like abused. Something. Yeah, it's crazy, and She's it's like been through it. And on top of that, the three of us are all so different. Like we probably never agree on things and so like that just proves that like black women it, we're not a monolith yeah we yeah. don't all it. think the same so it's about our group chat like everything goes down in group chat and at one point the there chat. were like seven fucking seven bitches in this group it was chat. toxic it was crazy and it would be like one minute someone's like yo so date three like am i bringing a spend a night bag what should be in my spend a night bag we're giving advice on what to bring and then somebody's like so um am i doing a roth ira and like it would just like the subjects would just change <laughs> i love it left and right and we were like okay you call it a spend the night bag what do you call it I call spend it a, night bag. Bag. a whole bag oh, or a whole bag wait, wait, wait. i call it the overnight bag i call Remember? my actual bag a whole bag and then i've called like people hoe bags it depends it's not a monolith <laughs> yeah what? well my boyfriend told me to bring a hoe bag the other day and it was a fabulous night to me a hoe bag is like your purse i get it but an overnight bag no like a hoe bag has it's like panties, the wipes deodorant. the condoms the That's yeah an overnight bag to, to... no overnight is a whole new outfit i was about to say i'm ready huh. for the next day with the overnight I'm not, bag. No, a hoe bag means i'm going to be a hoe i could say I you could just not, need your you essentials know. like you need the essentials uh, I've been uh, maybe like for deodorant? two years a I've been with Obey and I still call it a hoe bag. He just bought me a hoe bag. It's why. But I see, if you're really being a hoe, you're not like prepared. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I didn't. I just wake up like I didn't. No, spend you the could night be at, a conscious hoe. Stop. Like, girl, when I went to that party, bitch, I had to buy a whole outfit the next day at H and M because I ended up with that guy. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, okay. anyways, <laughs> anyways this was this was <laughs> before. Yes, my, my man. Her, don't, okay, bring the sex to life. But <laughs> you see how we just did this? This is the group chat. This is essentially what it is. That's it what is. I'm saying. So tell. This is fun. <laughs> okay, no. So spill the tea. Do, <laughs> he was cute, though. He was cute. He was handsome. So shout out to the ladies over at the Oprah Rose Show. Yes. <laughs> they threw uh, Gigi and Tierra through uh, Valentine's Day mm -hmm. singles, singles soiree. Party. Yeah. I think I remember you telling this a little bit. A little bit. And I got so drunk and there was just a very handsome man that came in there and we were just flirting our lives away. Oh, yeah. So much so to where um, <laughs> we just went, we rented a hotel right after the party. Oh, I yeah. love that. I haven't we been to Times so Square. Long. Got a, I, I was like, well, I got a Marriott discount. I don't want to go all the way back to the Bronx. Bon boy. <laughs> so, <laughs> what? I did have a Marriott plug. Bitch, it was $100. Bitch, I got that oh, same MMP, bitch. You, you feel me? <laughs> so we went and had amazing uh sex and then like we stayed in touch and talking but he wasn't as consistent and I, as i wanted and i think really at that time i wanted a boyfriend mm. so i was like if you're not gonna be my boyfriend we had fun mm -hmm. that's it that's real nice. that's it i need commitment or cock that's it nice. and i didn't even <laughs> want his cock because he wasn't committed enough he worked more than i did and this is when i was an accountant okay so i'm like nigga no i'm not gonna wait in the city for you to get off i just got off an hour late you still at work no, I'll yeah, see not, you and not if you're not my boyfriend. He, was, he, was, he worked on Wall Street. So okay, just, wait, wait. I have ooh. a question. Y'all say cock? No. No, she <laughs> does. I just like literally, like. <laughs> That's a great cock. question. That's a great question. Like that commitment. And just like, alliteration. Okay, got it. Thank Valid. You. Correct. So I want to get into the icebreaker real quick. We're going to go down this real fast fire style, baby. Black girl sexting. Send a nude or receive a nude? Ugh. I hate dick pics. Send a nude. Okay. Send all day. Damn, like my face too. won't be in it. I'm different. Y'all can send it to me all day. I hate the production of taking one. I so. love it. Oh, we can okay. do a little tutorial, a little one-on-one. -on -one. Girl, I don't even send my nigga ones. I'll be like, you want to see a nigga? Come over. Mm. Fuck out of here. <laughs> um, next one. FaceTime sexting or text sexting? 
Hmm. FaceTime. Y'all like to see I'm the person. Opposite. FaceTime. Wait, oh, because you like writing paragraphs. Same. No, like I'm <laughs> super shy. So do you, do you, Are you go on that uh, Dipsia thing? No. Oh, we we no, we've done an app and then we didn't do it today. Yeah, look. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> She said so. We're not going to really talk about that. Sorry. <laughs> Never heard of him. <laughs> I don't know that man. <laughs> I don't know him. Who? Dips- no, you no. can do mutual like masturbation on FaceTime. The FaceTime. I know, but like I actually like the sexting better. Like I like, plus I like going back and reading it. <laughs> I do oh, like going back and reading. That's I'm not going to lie. Okay. I do like going back and reading when a nigga get real nasty. Right. Oh my God. And it really, I, I'm a Leo, so I love the ego stroke. Like, I'll go back and read about how much you want everything on me and my body. I'll be like, yeah. <laughs> or no, you can no. screen record the FaceTime. No, no you cannot. No, no. Wow, wow, <laughs> yeah, look. wow. Whoa, whoa. Wow. No, look, we're all, now we're shading and judging you, yes. bitch. No, Both. you <laughs> cannot. Both together. If it's your, if it's your man. If it's your no, man, no. It tell, ruins it. No, you can't screen <laughs> record. Oh, I like to have videos to look at later. But then tell then, him to then, send you then a video. Then receive a te- a, God. <laughs> Not screen review. Well, now next question. Well, I'm not fucking you guys. <laughs> My man likes it. Okay, last Facts one. Would you rather accidentally send your masturbation video to your mom or receive a video of your mom masturbating? Oh. <laughs> I'd rather send to my mom. I've actually accidentally sent my mom a nude in the past. Damn. Do tell. Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so at the time I was dating this guy, he was a Patriots fan, a white man, obviously. And white. I'm a big Jets fan. If you don't know, those are rival teams. Yeah. So I have these little like Jets panties and I was like sending him pictures of them on my ass. Like, ha ha ha, ba ba ba. His name was Mike. So mom. the M had mom. me fucked up Bro. and I sent my mom hella pics of my ass. And what then did she, say? she was like, love the undies. Yeah, she was like, wow. <laughs> she was like, come walk the dog and I won't tell your father. And I was like, okay. <laughs> trade, fair trade. <laughs> I love that story. What about you, Chels? Uh, oh God, I'm going to sound like a creep, but I think I would rather see it. Oh. You'd rather see your mom than <laughs> me too. You don't think she I'm wiped your of, coochie when you was a baby? I'm just kind of curious. <laughs> You're curious? Whoa! Wait. <laughs> oh God. Oddly, I'm not judging for that oh, one. God. Thoughts and opinions well, of other members of Black okay, Girls Sex and not apply to the for group. Genetic reasons you want to see if you know? Yeah, I mean, you, I you got something see... from your mama? What the yeah. fuck, baby? <laughs> Weezy, your face, bro. You're just, bro. Y'all gotta watch watch us on YouTube if y'all want to see the shadiness that right. is Weezy W T. I don't want to. I don't want my mom to she see me. Oh, you, want, you don't want to catch it, bro. Okay, fine. Shit. I Damn. changed my answer. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fit. You know, that's a fit right there with the Crocs. Oh, that's, that's a fit. We're not here to judge you. Yeah, yeah apparently we is here to judge well, motherfuckers. Because I mean, this girl is is vanilla, and we'll oh get into that. Oh my god, but she's just not. No, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you're not that vanilla how do you know how do i know i just know (laughs) have we ever laid together no damn no don't be asking me all these questions on my show (laughs) dang i wanted to get into our vanilla shit our vanilla shit segment yeah i did want to say i felt like this entire time we were thinking about it we've like if you guys have listened to the show and you've seen my mom amanda you know my mom don't you feel like if my mom got a nude of me and i just said delete it she would not my mom would study the video and then tell me something about myself like give you a tip She'd be like, why would you do it like that? Like, why would you, what, what, what do you mean, fuck me? Why would you say that? I love like, that. My mom would be so extra about it. What do you think I your just, mom would do if you accidentally send it? I don't know. Like, like back some in the, moms would delete it, but mine well, is no, very Well, no, back nosy. in the day, yeah. my mom would probably want to know what team the person played for that I was sending it to to see if she could get some free tickets. Nice. <laughs> That's what my mom would do. Nice. Well, wow. who is that going to? Well, they come to Orlando, and <laughs> I would like to go to a game. That's what my mom well, would do. Well, Punani is not free. No, you listen. You right. I mean, I have a man now, so it is. It's free to him. Girl, please. Oh, man. He's paying another way. That nigga still, I don't give a shit. What? I got to get my shit paid. Are you kidding me? Nigga, I want this, that. I love sending links to purses I enjoy. <gasps> shoes, that? vacations. I think we paid 
what? You are going to still pay for my pussy. You know why? Because I can't really have other niggas like I want. Sure, once in a blue, we let the shit little non-monogamous thing go. But at the end of the day, you need to keep reinvesting into your business, which is my pussy. If my pussy is your business, you fucking pay up for it. Do you think that laptop just came and landed on the table? It did not. Um, It's weird because like, so I just... Whoa, nice I, laptop. I mean, I just got back from <laughs> Jamaica. My, my man does things that like, I, I genuinely feel like it's just... I've never experienced before. So I'm enjoying like the subtle little things. Girl, all so, niggas should be doing So it. Well, when I was in Jamaica, he's like, I just want to let you know I did some modifications to your apartment. I was like, what? So I come home. There's a rack behind my door. He's hung up hooks in my bathroom for like all of my hair stuff. He Aww. hung up a shelf uh, for my projector screen for my ba bedroom. He got me a side table. All this handyman work. Hung up a picture of Bodhi over his litter box. I was like, oh, that's cute. Oh my God. And so I'm just, I come in, mind you, dishes are done. My bed is made. He's like cleaned and organized my house while I was gone. And I was just like, that is like, so sweet. That to me, I mean, I'm not like, I, I like that. You, you is that know, your like, love language? Acts um, of service? So it used to be like, I, I mean, no, it is now. Acts of service and quality time, especially because I really realistically thought I could never get it from the past guys I was dealing mm. with. I was dealing with, niggas on wall street or fucking uh athletes or people that i only got to see them when they made time and wanted to see me right and so for him he goes out the way like before i even asked him he was like you're going to jamaica next week like you need me to feed bodie i was like actually i do like and so like those type of things i've never gotten because also i had a lot of if I did really like someone, it was long distance. Mm -hmm. So those types of acts of service you don't get when it's long distance. Right. right. And so, I mean, I've appreciated all of those type of things. So you're both so, in relationships. Yes. I mean, I, wait, I didn't know you were in a relationship. Boo. I hate talking about <laughs> I fuck other niggas. Okay. I mean, that's wait, how. Also, he, he knows. Well, he has to know. Of course. Okay. And he has to also know how to. <laughs> hoist on a TV mount and do all that other shit too but I still would like my act of service Does he have to be sex with other women yeah okay yeah we've had sex this with other women there's no one way streets over here I don't know I don't even know my man been... wanted me to get some Jamaican dick if you're out the country it doesn't count wait <laughs> dick doesn't count out the country oh I would like to argue I think out of the state you can go as far as the state you can go as far as the out of the state what, what about the, the borough? borough? What about what about the street? What is that? First of all, you're on the west well side. Next the country. <laughs> yeah, Staten Island dick is good. Staten Island dick is like yo, y'all are wild. I've never had Staten Island dick. Me neither. Actually, Me neither, I'm but lying. Aren't they like racist? No, no, I had a boy. <laughs> wait, no, I'm not gonna lie. I had a boyfriend when I was in high school, and he he was from New York. I think you met him. Maybe. Anyways, I was in love with him. <laughs> and when you're in Florida. Up north niggas just got a swag. They're yeah. just like, well, you're from New York. Ooh, I got me a little dip set nigga. No. <laughs> he was from Staten Island, and I didn't know how Staten Island really was in New York until Wu -Tang? I came up Black here. Staten Island or Ital... Ooh, can you say that? Italian. Wait, what? Uh, what Italian. 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 <laughs> Italian no. Staten Island? People might not like Is that, that. like bad now? Yeah, I think it's I like think a so. slur kind Wait, of. Wait, Italian, Italian Staten Island? No, to say Italian. Italian. Why? Really? Why? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. But, I mean, I want to know why people are <laughs> sensitive out here because we get canceled every other episode. It's 2021. I'm like, let's just move it Can on. you look up? What is? Why would? What? what why is Italian a slur? No, because I'm curious. <laughs> Wait, who told you? Is it because we're like, saying do the we right are thing. Italian? And do the right thing. They kept saying, like, the Italians. Yeah. Why is I I can't even. It, yeah, it's it's, very hard. It's, I don't even think I you're going to be. How, do you, how I feel like that's Google such that? a stretch. Like, it, it would. Bro, that's Maybe such it's not. a stretch. Maybe it's not. You know what? It, how do you even type this in? It's I put, the, I put the same. Parentheses, I Italian, and nothing. Nothing comes up. No, yeah. Okay, well, then I'm in the clear. Wait, then I love that you're in a relationship. Oh, I do remember doing my thing. I Italian. You meet him. If we go to the sex club, like, he'll come. I want to go. Oh, yeah, we should double date. Is it COVID safe? <laughs> I mean, do you walk outside what your house? What the fuck do you think? <laughs> <laughs> no, not do you walk yourself? Party, fucking COVID do safe. You walk like, yo, outside no lie. Shout out to Daniel Saint, but <laughs> shout him out. Yes, I'm sorry. That is the biggest oxymoron. <laughs> <laughs> what COVID safe sex party? Is it, is, it, is it safe sex? But like COVID safe? <laughs> Bitch, you're outside. <laughs> you're outside. No, like, does everyone have to present their vaccination card? Yeah, oh, you basically. Jesus. <laughs> basically, you get fucked, and you're like this. Oh, that's kind of hot. But from the back only, worth my mask. <laughs> Six feet apart. 
<laughs> That's how you COVID say Yeah, plastic? ain't no dick six feet, so I don't know what you like. You I know, like can't be, like plastic it, curtains everywhere. It, it, ooh, I oh, don't no, like it. No, it no, none of that is there. Right. It's actually really <laughs> wide ass open, like Wait. asses are wide open, literally. Yes. Oh, how I thought she was gonna say like I was to one. I got you, girl. You know, I'm, I'm special over here. You know, I'm 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 ruler of the sex clubs out here. Um, um it's street. just a link on a website, and it's <laughs> <laughs> I believe oh, anyone. Yeah, can you could become a member, <laughs> and it also um, is free to be a member. Oh, okay. Yeah. No barriers of entry. There. Yeah, I got you though. I got you. <laughs> um, I did want to uh, bring up this really quick for our vanilla shit. This this was a, from a couple weeks ago, um, but as outside is opening. Uh, I wanted to ask you guys maybe some tips to keep our hot girl summer safe. Um, I did want to read that two spring breakers. Uh, this happened actually out in Miami. Mm. Um, drugged and raped a woman. Um, I don't think that they meant for her to die, but I guess the drug um, amount that they gave her was so much that she actually was found dead in her um dead in her in, in her hotel the reason why it also became viral was because earlier that day a woman on south beach posted a picture and they actually photobombed her and so there was a pic there was it was viral saying that you never know like who you're gonna meet and what they're capable of mm. wow and she was just like wow to know that I have two killers posing in the back of my spring break picture. Crazy. This is this is pretty crazy. Yeah. Um, and they were literally just out enjoying their time like they hadn't done what they'd done the night before. Um, and oh I, my say, God, that's I say all of this to say I'm not sure who the who the girl was friends mm -hmm. with, how many people she traveled with. I know that uh, even when I was in Jamaica the first night, I was only there with two people. Then it was 18 so our party grew over the time but we were invited to house parties because there was curfew in jamaica and we were even thinking like eh. i know that we all celebrate our parties differently we go out we get drunk it's 420 i don't know but high. miami should be a place where you could be i like it makes sense right. that you'd be you know what i mean like um, aware when you're in another country right. right but like if i'm in miami with my homegirls what would i give up like you know nah. I, 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 no that that I have, have your head I think on the swivel everywhere because niggas are weird no i just mean like i could see how she got caught up yeah like it doesn't yeah. seem like you would be yeah. that yeah, yeah, precautionary yeah. in a place where like you, we've all been before you oh, know what right. I mean? definitely but definitely. like you being out of the country like absolutely like even when i was living right. in mexico like mm -hmm. i was like okay who threw the party because you know you become a close community but I think in this particular situation, it really sucks because, yes, like if you want to go out and have a good time, people are doing more kickbacks. People are doing more stuff at their yeah. house. Like even me, I'm doing parties like every Saturday at my crib. Not a lot of people, maybe like 10, 50. Is 20, that a lot of people? 25. Go ahead. You said 10 to 50? 15. Is that a lot of people? Oh, kind of. I don't know. I'll, tell, I'll ask Andrew Cuomo. I feel like you, you bring some say type allegedly. of allegedly. Allegedly, that's the it amount of people. It could be. House. Maybe it's the people in my head or whatever. <laughs> but anyway, um, but no, this girl, like we were partying or whatever, and she was like, "Whose house is it? Is it your house? Who's gonna be there?" Da, 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 da. And I just thought she was like doing too much, and I was like, "Oh my god, she's trying to make sure she's safe." I felt so bad. Yeah, because she was like, well, "I don't understand. Is it your home? And like, are there other people that live there with you?" But that was a great question to ask. No, yeah, that's it's valid. true. What if you have? And we should all be asking that when we go to someone's home. Are there other people there when I come there? Yeah. Like, you watch need your to drinks too. Yes, watch, watch your, your drinks fucking sure. drinks. <clears throat> but the thing is, when you're on vacation, you not speaking about this woman, but sometimes when you're on vacation, you get like not smart like we were in argentina yeah we were in argentina oh, okay. and we literally uh -oh. just telling the story yes we literally went into a white van ma'am isn't that crazy a white van who but, got into a white was but it like Uber? it was a cab was it no an Uber? <laughs> a man that we met at the club he was a beautiful man he was brazilian he so had Ted bundy <laughs> <laughs> Like, Ooh, he was Brazilian with locks. I might have got into. All right, all right. Like this oh, tall bro. black guy. Oh my god! <laughs> like safety stunning. tips here. Bro. I don't say tips, I know tips. how it happened. Yeah, we, we got in his white van. Thank God we're alive to tell the story. Word. But like right, literally, bro. you're always taught don't go in the van, especially yeah. the van. Okay, but no, no you got in. Then what happened? Since you're alive. But wait, even if wait, <laughs> oh, wait, even if it's fucked, but even if it's fuck, even if suburban, don't get in the suburban either, bitch. But bitch, tell us the story. Okay, yeah, what happened? Okay, so we were in. Argentina we went to this like outdoor party I used to I studied abroad there so I was like we got to go to this party and this Brazilian man fine Black as girl hell study abroad. everybody is like giving him the looks and of course he wants my fucking lesbian friend and we're like wow that's the 
that's the one you picked <laughs> but we're like come on bitch you got shows let's go <laughs> um, we get in the car allegedly doing <laughs> um drugs you, Off of south i america. do like you it's south america so you can imagine what drugs were doing um i don't condone drug what use the drugs were doing not what the people doing the drugs were doing <laughs> okay and it was fucking lit and then he took us to this club there was a whole long ass line outside of the club he just walked up he pulled in with all the bad bitches all the black bad black bitches and we were all black and argentina is like mad white, white. so people were wait, like wait. who are they so it was a bunch of bad bitches in the car doing drugs with the fine nigga yeah bitch take me back did y'all gangbang <laughs> him you. Oh, oh so keep good. going with the, with the story no no we, okay. we didn't we didn't gangbang him, we didn't. him. But, but people had like get the story straight. Were, <laughs> they were get like, the story people straight. People, like, <laughs> you see them reading each other's eyes, like Y'all where fuck do it we up. take this? Story? People were like, <laughs> doing stuff. There were some like three way kisses, yeah. but then like everybody kind of like at the club found their nigga. Like I found like an Argentinian race car driver. Nice. That was oh, now the, she's changing. She's, no, she's that moving was some the, the best thing of my life. But like, what were they doing with the man? All sorts of things. <laughs> oh, like, were they doing like drugs off his dick? They were painting they, his toes, Weezy. I, they were doing wild stuff. No, he was man. doing drugs off of people's ass. ass. Yeah, and people were doing drugs. Didn't someone do drugs off his wiener? No, off his, his phone. Not his wiener. She, what? Vanilla, y'all. <laughs> off his she phone. just opened you, up okay, about okay, her I'm vanilla sorry. ways. Here's y'all. just where I'm oh confused. Oh my god! Like, you just said. I'm wiener? sure you're a nice girl. <laughs> <laughs> Judgy, not shady, right? Mom, <laughs> you'd rather have the mom video because you're curious. You're asking Mandy about the sex club, and now it's a wiener. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Cock? I mean, his dick would be okay as well. Dick. I don't like shab. that. I, don't I mean, shab, I feel bro. like, oh, it's okay to tell the drug story, but now it's off his wiener. I like wiener. <laughs> glizzy. You like? <laughs> what is glizzy? You genuinely say wiener? Yeah. But you got me thinking of Nathan's. Can we not? Damn. Let's not hold on. Nathan's hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, okay. You yeah, asked I your boyfriend wiener. to like. No. 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 For him, it's dick. But like, have you said something about his wiener to him? <laughs> yeah. Like when we're not having sex, I'll be like something about your wiener. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how old That's are you? That's kind of like my thing. It's like it works for me, Weezy. It works for me. But it's no, like really, how old are you? Uh, um, twenty-five. Uh, Wait, okay. you know what? No, look, you lying, know what? bitch. Um, she lying. She ain't 25. I'm 28, 28. Okay, then no, this is dumb. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, but I'm going to bring it back. Because <laughs> now we told this whole very unsafe story. But no, ladies. <laughs> Yo, good ass. You oh really? I thought literally like, can we give tips to the you ladies really on how to be safe? Need to be safe? Yeah, you gotta you be have safe. To be you safe. Got, you, gotta, you, gotta watch, you gotta watch your back, your front. Like, because <laughs> niggas are weird. I went to this party the other day and like a couple <laughs> niggas were following me around. Talking know. about, let's go for a walk. Nigga, I don't know you. Where are we going for a walk? You ain't and know the white van owner either. Right. <laughs> at least you was fine though. But he the thing, all in a van. Do you speak Spanish at least? Portuguese. Portuguese. He spoke Portuguese. Portuguese. And probably Spanish. And probably oh, he's Spanish. Brazilian, sorry. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, but, if he was fine, I would go on a walk with him. That's true. <sighs> but the thing is, if you're traveling yuck. in a group, <laughs> so, you have to like look out for your friends. You have okay, to yeah. look out for your friends. But like, all of y'all got into that van. Right? Yeah, but <laughs> at least together, yeah, we would we would we would have taken we him down. Like, ha! So you know how, what's no. the safest thing to do if you're gonna like go and start wilding and doing drugs with your friends? You have to have one be the test dummy. Because you can't all do the drugs Wait. together. Oh, you're right. Because what if the drugs kill what you? If it's, I'm not even or kidding. Or what if it's like a drug that like knocks you out? Exactly. That's so, so like smart. One time, bro. What the fuck? This is you can't have one, one friend be the test dummy. Unsafe stories. No, no, I'm no, telling so you, this is no is bullshit. Coherent. People are gonna do it anyway. You know what I'm saying? So like, you have to just figure out how to do the shit. Or I tell the guy to do it first. Like you, that's better. You, you take the first. Yes. If they do, but some niggas just have drugs for bitches. That's the thing too. Especially if you partner with like hood niggas, they'd be like, y'all want some Molly? They'll just have a bag. Now, if you're going to do a little dip, not saying I know how I've just learned from friends, <laughs> right? Oh I was with some home girls. This was only like a year and a half ago and they wanted to do Molly. And it was like four of us and they were about to like split it up in their drink. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. why don't one of y'all bitches do it first so one of y'all dies, we can call the police. Like, what, no, I feel you. Just, you know what I mean? I never and you gotta make sure like the that. shit is safe this because- is not how I intended this out. Like, like, I really thought we were gonna be- Mandy is mature. about to have a fucking like, heart attack. We're, we're not, just, we're talking about wieners and cocks. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about wieners and cocks. <laughs> No, nah, but and white vans. No bullshit. If you're gonna do drugs, even weed, dog, like anything edibles, like lace. you should not just be all taking the same drug at the same time. Like you have to disperse the shit. Okay, these are the tips we're giving. All if, right, because you know what, you know what this should be called. You're gonna do it anyway. 
Yeah. Oh, oh no, my this God. is definitely going to be called Wieners and White Vans. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that. I think, you know, I've done a lot of terrible things. Somehow, somebody's looking out for me because oh, I am the like, bitch You're that, just digging the hole so much No, I'm deeper. saying I am the bitch that gets in the van, that goes in the car, that goes... Da, 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 and okay, I think, but you won't be anymore. <laughs> Well, no, no, no. We don't, we don't want you to be You're that girl stop. moving You're forward. Stop it. Is this that. white girl texting? <laughs> <laughs> what I was going to say is, but my friends always hold me down. Yeah, nice. Until... You're, they're not with you. Oh, but we don't leave. I don't do it alone. If you're traveling, you don't leave your friend. Well, no, okay, you can't. So you, can't the, you can't. There's the tip. Like there is the tip, and, and I think, that's it. I think it that's the tip. Here. Finally, we got. If we there. got one, we, just the tip. Just stay with your friend. <laughs> like even Vinny, like Vinny and I go do a lot of our traveling together, and our drugs, fun, whatever. But like even when he's going to fuck some niggas, like. He's always, we're always trying to figure out how to make this happen, right? To make sure we're safe. Because no, you can't bring your homegirl when you're about to like fuck the shit out of this dude. Bro, when we went to yeah. Miami, mm. you definitely fucked in front of me. It's a little bit different, I think, for gay men though. Because homegirls, oh, men are you're kind right. of a little you're more right. like, they're expecting you to be that way. But with men, they, like, I don't know. I, I will say that you're it's, right. a, it's just a little different with gay men. Um, so just in, even in that regard, like we try our best to like, maybe we meet the guy for a drink first, catch the vibes and then like I'll follow and track on his phone or something like yes. that. Yes. Phone yeah. tracking. Um, but yeah, like in Spain, it, it was hard. Cause when he was like, look, bitch, like I have to do this. Yeah. Look it, at him. <laughs> a, a lot of women stay with each other on vacation. I mean, so I think it's just very important. Like, even if one of your girls do want to hook up with somebody, let it happen where you're in control of the environment. Um, bring him back to your spot. That's why I back, always get an Airbnb with an extra spot. room, a bring smash room for the yeah. Airbnb. Oh, wait, you get, yeah. oh, there's a, oh, if you have an Airbnb, there's extra room. You get there, an Airbnb, be you'd be like, room. oh, there's a couple, you got to have that extra room. I was, I was going to say, if it's a hotel, like definitely you meet the guy as well so that you can identify, you mm, can do all that. Yes. And just have no problem staying at a bar, at the lobby bar while your girlfriend is upstairs right. getting fucked. Okay, yeah. that's fair. That's a good friend. I yeah. also, I, my friends, oh, I let them know. You gonna stay in the lobby for a fun some? Like that used to be like a thing. Bitch, I mean, or excuse me? or you I can watch. Do that. I let my friends know you can watch, you can join, or you can stay in the lobby. But watch, bitch, if we go lobby. on vacation, I'm getting. I want to watch. See, look, she but she be uh, playing. You know, I don't like watching. I've Wait, never done that. Watch Wait, either. I, I, if, I, if I'm fucking you, fine, but like I'm not watching. I did record Have my friends. I, I don't like. I watching. love watching. I, I like, like having porn. threesomes, but like Broadway porn. Yeah, but like I need to start fucking like. I like watching. I want to watch. No, my I'm friend very man paid me to record. You so what? I, I got. Yeah, he paid. And I'm didn't not. you like squirt and you hit, hit you a little bitch? Oh, no, sure wow. did. Um, well, okay, it wasn't quite her man. It's her her sugar daddy. He paid me to film them. But how much? Yeah, how I got much? Like five hundred dollars. <gasps> what? what? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I, who the sugar daddy? You still friends with him? Didn't he take y'all to Vegas too? Oh yeah, he does all types of shit. But shoot, wait, wait, the girl. Were you friends with the girl or the sugar daddy? I'm friends with the girl. That's a great friend. She's like, look, she, I don't even need a little cash. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would be me. Was it was sure. like a camera or like a phone? It's on my phone. But if if you give me a task, I get very dedicated. So I nice. was in there. I was like, like we are looking for videographers here. Yeah, that's so. <laughs> <As> well. <laughs> And she squirted on you? And I got a little too close and it was like, I was like, oh, bitch. I forgot you be squirting like she's this. A, she's a, oh, she's a like a squirter. squirter. She's a squirter. She's a, she's a real squirter. So, like Lola, the porn was it squirt. you? No. I'm just yeah, right? <laughs> My last tip though, condoms in every purse. I keep a condom in every purse. One or two. What about that purse? Look. Oh, is there wow. You wow. Wow. Why you out here lying, oh. girl? Not for that wiener. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been, I can't say this. You, girl, you you get it. You've been else. fucking raw, bitch. Okay. You yeah. just talked about drugs and getting in white vans. <laughs> oh, or you, girl. You've been doing it raw? Huh? No birth control? Who? <laughs> That's what you said? Where Pretty much. Where, where is, so they're just not there. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. Uh, well, we're going to go ahead and skip the hors d'oeuvre because y'all just gave so many tips without giving tips at all. It was amazing. I thought y'all did a wonderful job at that. Unless you have a quick. I have a tip. quick one. You have a quick one? Okay. Okay. Y'all know. Okay. Outline. We we, we back at it. <laughs> the hors d'oeuvre is our sex tip and we're going to get one from Chelsea the Vanilla Bean. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my God. That's perfect. <laughs> go ahead. Rude. Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead, Sorry. Chelsea. What's your sex the strawberry tip? Strawberry bean because I'm Chelsea Pinky. 
Okay, girl. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> vanilla bean it is. <laughs> okay. Okay. This might not be a big tip, but some of us complain about giving blowjobs because like it's too much in your mouth. But if you just like put a toothbrush down there and like train your throat, you can do deep throat. So training your throat with a toothbrush. Yes. Let me tell you the problem I have with that. Too skinny? No. Well, <clears throat> it's okay even, that it's skinny. Even, I agree, like my gag, gag reflex. reflexes yeah. work differently with something that small compared to a dick size. Also, it's really weird because as long as I'm looking at myself in the mirror, brushing my tongue, I don't gag. When I'm in the shower brushing my tongue without the mirror, I gag. So also, I just feel like the toothbrush charges different gag reflexes because you're doing it yourself. You, I think so you never like brush your tongue and you're like, like a little too far. When I'm not <laughs> looking in the mirror. In the mirror. Even oh, okay. the tongue. Bitch, that's in what I'm mirror. talking about. That's that's what I'm talking about. But if I'm in the mirror looking at myself do it, bro, for whatever reason, I don't know, maybe it's some kind of shit, I don't fucking gag. It's so weird. Well, you probably don't need the tip then because when you're having sex and you have something in your mouth, you're not, or you could have a mirror. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Your mouth opens a different way when you're sucking dick than when, yeah, uh, but oh, like, uh, it's not, it's not <laughs> training your, no, because, okay. it's not training your mouth to get big. It's training your throat to not gag. Yeah, but what I'm saying is depending like on gagging. how your mouth is open though. <laughs> I don't, I don't yo, t your tongue and your throat are probably all right fine different. don't take my i tip. mean it was okay can I you, mean, okay can i ask a question can i ask for a tip part? how do you breathe at the same you have time? holes in but, your nose bitch you don't know how to breathe <laughs> like you i'm genuinely curious she I'm said sorry. there's holes this in your the nose. best thing i've <laughs> ever heard <laughs> You can, can you ask that question one more time? How do you breathe at the same time? I want you to do us a something. favor so we can learn right now. Because like, close your mouth. Okay. Right. Oh, close my mouth. <laughs> Why did I close and my breathe, eyes? Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. You, you see how it works? That was really it. <laughs> that was, are you? You no, did because it? I find that I get a little overwhelmed that I'll be like. And then I'm like, see, this is why I don't do this shit. Because you <laughs> can't breathe. Face. You don't know. You don't know how to just breathe through your nose when something's in your mouth. It just doesn't feel. I think it's just too much. Are you able to breathe when you chew food? She's overthinking. I hate She can do it. Are you a mouth breather? I hate y'all. I hate y'all. So I, I will tell you, I'm a mouth breather too. Me too. Um, because I'm, I didn't really realize how much till the mask. Yeah, same. Because it's ah. like the heat will go into my glasses. Yeah. But like, it's just, I feel really hot. Like it gets very irritating, but uh, you should be able to suck a dick. So. Did you just <laughs> try it? <laughs> One day. One day. All right. Well, we are now going to get into our horrible decision. I wanted each of y'all's thoughts on these various five things. This week, our horrible decision is the five things getting in the way of black women's sex lives. Yeah. I know that we all just gave tips. Uh, we talked about sexting, which was something else. And then we, your stories, y'all shared a ton of them. That was amazing, you know? But... As black women speaking on this platform, I wanted to talk about the things that get in the way of our sex lives that we may or may not even know uh, could be barriers as to why we view things a certain way. So the first thing that is listed, this comes from Mind Body Green um, website, by the way. And this whole article is by Ashley Towns, who is an epidemiologist. Yes, big word. Got that. I practiced it. it. All right. <laughs> So the first thing that affects black women in their sex lives is stereotypes and myths about black sexuality. Um, it says that a few historical images that black women have been labeled as include the mammy, the Jezebel, the welfare mother, and the angry black woman. Something that y'all kind of even talked about earlier, like just the monolith of it. Mm -hmm. In general, black women have also often been portrayed as being sexually experienced and or engaging in sexual risk-taking behaviors rather than being sexually responsible and having sexual autonomy of their bodies. One of the things that they brought up in this, which was really interesting, is stereotypes and myths might also play a role in dating relationships and sexual behaviors. For example, the idea or belief that black women are promiscuous may cause a way to to, may cause a woman to feel ashamed of her true sexual identity and behaviors. Now, Weezy and I had that conversation very early on into this podcast. And when I read this, I was like, wow, like the, the word she didn't want to be associated with it at all. And 
it could possibly be without us even knowing because there's just already a negative connotation of that word that's oftentimes applied to black women and no other types of women mm -hmm. yeah. as far as being promiscuous. Um, can y'all think of any other stereotypes that work against us in dating, sex, and relationships? I think the only thing is body type that came to mind. I think black women, you know, we talk about this so much with ha being shapely and being fast, things like that. Yes. I think there's other another one that black women don't suck dick, but we've... <laughs> We've, we've evolved we've no have I we don't look at the, most of us but <laughs> but i think but hey but like hey. they also say like black women don't do anal isn't that a thing too yeah that is a thing too yeah. and i think even in sex the stereotypes of not being able to touch a black woman's hair and not being able to do things um like that a lot of people assume like there's a lot of things do you let them in your dating touch your hair yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yes yeah. same well unless i have a sew-in even with a sewing? Why? No, uh, like if I do have a sewing, I'm like, you can't like, like pull it. You can't put your hands like hands. in you the just, scalp. You just, oh, that doesn't like, bother me. I'd be telling me, oh, you're going to hit something, but go in. But, oh, okay. Yeah. So another I thing I pull in my I, tracks all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> another thing right. I thought of, because I went to a predominantly white college mm -hmm. and I was in a sorority, um, a very white sorority. And like the girls. I don't even know what those are called. Kappa Alpha Phi. <laughs> no. Phi. Close. Close. <laughs> it's the second largest one in the country. Um, but anyways, so. White people. <laughs> Go ahead. They were doing wild stuff. And I feel like I kind of like was more like restricted and restrained because I was like, okay, I'm the only black girl. And it's almost like you have to represent for your people. You had I the Obama complex. Maybe, ah. Yeah. So like Thank I was Thank God very, you're dead. Like, classy even though in my brain i wanted to do some stuff you felt the need to portray yourself in a certain, certain way yeah because well. i'm because the only one because like if a black person represents all black people like you're not allowed to be an individual mm -hmm. that's a fact bitch i didn't even think of that i've been at a dinner table recently um where it was tv writers like media people i was the only black girl fancy and when we started talking about the stuff that we're working on one of the things that I am working on is a very much a black script. And I just tried to talk about everything else because I just knew they were waiting to hear about it. Like, I felt like that's what uh, they, yes. they wanted to hear me Tell say. Tell us the black stuff. And I was like, yeah. yeah. So what about you? Something with the culture? That was a word like that. And um, Eek. it's funny because a friend of mine and I were trying to name the thing that we're working on. And I was like, what's another word for black that we can use where niggas will know but they may not. And he's like, the only other word we can do like that is culture. Because culture, urban, it's so all the true. words I hate. Urban, I hate. It I really hate is urban. Culture. It's culture and open. And yeah. I didn't think about it until I sat at that table and they were like, are you doing anything with the culture? Yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> well, we talk about, we've talked about adultification of black women, how like from black early girls. on, black girls, black girls, like, you know, black women, black girls tend to develop earlier. And I think immediately there's like a stigma put on them around like how they can move like we're both caribbean so like it's just i was just about you, to say you, the way you dance yeah you grow yeah. up and like yep. you're whining yep. and you're doing things like going to carnival kitty carnival playing mass and like that's just a part of <laughs> i'm like the, the culture, culture. <laughs> first of all these <laughs> the white culture. bitches been cheerleading <laughs> and wearing the tiniest little tops yeah. and doing all of that shit and shaking and shit just because we do a little on our own beat you know what i'm saying i was bitch? about to say it's really sexualized and that part sucks because yeah white white kids i'm sorry they do anything it's just it's just not even cute yeah so <laughs> but, but they get to be kids <laughs> yeah they get to be they kids. get to be kids black kids do not get to be kids no. they're no. they're automatically seen as adults the way women are moving there they're seen as fast yeah um i remember i would get in trouble if i like sat on a man's lap like my mom would be like don't be sitting on the person's lap the, even uh, i have a friend now who sends pictures all the time of celebrity men and their children and she questions, is this appropriate? Because yeah. she said she's never kissed her dad growing up. Oh, there was wow. so many things. But that, there's so much trauma. You, who knows what she's experienced? Right. And But though there were so many ways that a young black girl shouldn't engage with an adult man where I was just like, but that's her dad. There's nothing <laughs> sexual about mm -hmm. what's going on here. Like your dad can kiss you. Your dad can hug you. Your dad can. You know what I mean? So that's another thing that, yeah, maybe... Kids don't get to be kids. It's crazy. There's that. The next we, one, uh, we definitely know this, is that health disparities in sexual health care. So education, income level, and insurance <laughs> status can affect a person's access to health care and quality. 
We know that. The next one is hilariously funny because we just talked about it. A lack of culturally sensitive sex education. So this one I thought was very interesting because America lacks con- comprehensive sexually edu- sexuality education in general. But in addition, there's a shortage of trained sexuality educators in cultural sensitivity and therefore miss many opportunities to black girls to receive sexual education that is unbiased. I guess that kind of goes exactly to what we were talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Even just thinking about anatomy, like think about every like book you've read or like health book it's always like a white person's body so like god forbid your vagina doesn't look like the one in the book maybe you think something's wrong with you those stupid ass pink pussy hats (laughs) my vagina is not it's brown like you know what i'm saying that's a pink pussy hat it's so funny you mentioned that because um i slept with this dude he's black like some years ago and i'll never forget it sorry i just got my period you guys i'm feeling so crampy this guy goes um what do you say? He was like, sometimes when you straighten your hair, you be looking like a white girl, but like your pussy lets me know like you mix for real. Like you got some black in you. <laughs> and I was like, oh, Jesus, huh? I don't and, know about that. Wait, was it a white person or a black? No, it was a black dude. Okay. And he was like, white girl pussies be looking different. And he says they be like kind of bright and they got this little weird shit. Oh my God. Can, can we not pussy shame though? Right. No, everyone's but looks everyone's looks different. He said Shapes to me that sizes. he believes that black women, he said Latinas, he was like, I've just noticed that like their vaginas are different. And he said, uh, so I, melanin. Yeah. He's like, you know, your pussy looks like, and I think it reminds me of like when Mandy and I have talked about, cause she's never slept with a white dude. And I'll talk about like the way white dick looks. There's certain ah, like ah yes like Middle Eastern dudes or like um, Eastern European dudes where their dicks won't look the same either. It's not like that white boy Alabama dick. It'd be right, like right. not darker. Alabama, bruh. That's just the whitest thing I can think of. Right now. <laughs> there are levels. Okay, what you mean. now I get it. They're like the tint like, of it. your genitals are different. Yeah. Yes. Um, I want to go past this fourth one because I think we all know mistrust of medical providers. Yes. Uh, that's very prevalent. Uh, within black women and the community. But the last one I want to talk about before we get out of here is the fact that uh, we oftentimes focus on prevention instead of pleasure. Mm. So sexuality research and sex education materials reflect black women tend to highlight adverse sexual and reproductive outcomes, such as the rates of unintended pregnancy and STIs. Meanwhile, the average sex ed class for black teens seldom mentions more positive research um, and data regarding and a huge survey revealed that tons of really hopeful insights about about black women's lives surveyed that they engage in a variety of sexual behaviors and most find that their recent experiences are pleasurable. Um, most also have experienced an orgasm, um, but it's just talking about mainstream conversations regarding black sexuality and how they oftentimes lead with the risks mm-hmm. and negative sexual outcomes instead of conversations about black pleasure. You know who I, said that? Who? Jada Pinkett. She said oh, it she? on Red Table Talk to and how she's talked to Willow about sex. She was like, you know, when I grew up, it was like, you can get pregnant, you can get AIDS or whatever disease right. was out at the time. And she was like, I told Willow that, but I also told her that it's amazing. She's mm-hmm. like, I don't want to scare her about sex because it's like a beautiful thing. We're all scared for sex. We're all told it's going to hurt. I think even, and I'm only 30, but yeah, if you have sex, you're going to get pregnant and, and die eventually. Literally. You know what I mean? Like it's, that's what's going to happen. I mean, yeah. I think, I think because even in sex education, we all were taught abstinence. We weren't taught how wonderful it is or how to enjoy ourselves, how to engage in healthy conversations with sex. You know, it was just like, don't have it. I don't know if pleasure is necessarily something I want my kids to learn in school, but I think those are discussions that we should be having like communally. Like I've had a friend's kid who's around 16 talk to me about pleasure with sex. And I found that interesting because she was embarrassed. Not that her, her mom is dope. I think not that her mom and her couldn't have that combo, but she was like, oh, I don't want to tell my mom something feels good. It's weird to tell my mom that. Yeah. And when she talked to me about it, I was like, oh, it's not like she has no idea about sex because she gets it. She's watched porn at some point. You know, she's 16. You're seeing it. Your friends are doing it. But she genuinely was like, oh, what if it feels like this? She thought she was going to pee on herself once. I was like, oh, my God, bitch, you just squirt and I can't. See, if she saw a video of her mom. 
You know, no, sure. no, no, no. Oh stop. my God, Chell, you're really, you're Great going with it. You're going, you're going with, you know what's crazy? Um, and not to, and, and I'm, I'm not a parent, but I'm thinking of just psychologically how things happen with people. I actually think that pleasure learning in a classroom would probably be the best setting. And I say that because the same way there's things that an adolescent, teenager, or child may tell the doctor mm-hmm. about themselves because they don't feel comfortable telling their parents because they there's still stigmas that they're going to get into trouble and all of these other things. There are things that we as children would tell a therapist, that we would tell uh, uh, a doctor. And so in like that the health setting, teacher. And, and, and in that setting, I think a sex education teacher would be someone that a lot of students will feel open with. I mean, again, and I, and I think I brought it up on another episode, Dwayne Wade sat and talked about how Zaya Wade coming out to him, he feels like lended a helping hand to his teacher that was a woman, but that identified as lesbian. Mm-hmm. And he said that if it weren't for that teacher, I don't think Zaya would have been comfortable coming out to me. So I just I feel like there are people in the community that I think kids would feel comfortable. And doing it can that be done in like a cool, like chemistry way like this is how an orgasm works yeah the endorphins the stimulation the nerves this that the third but like my mom was pretty open with me about sex like i think around four or five my mom was like this is four four or five she was humping the elmo oh my god i was masturbating from jump oh (laughs) but like she she was like this is oral sex this is anal sex this is vaginal sex and like very Kind of like anatomy, and like talk. called it the correct name. Yeah, call it correct names, and like so I love. That I was for very your comfortable. Mom. I really. Loved I wasn't that. like, mom, I'm getting it in, but like <laughs> because I felt like very much like sex isn't a bad thing. I just was. It was easier to talk about it. It was much easier. I mean, but whew. does that make you more like want to thought and bop? A little? I was gonna say I was a little thought. Um, <laughs> oh my god! But I, I think that's it. just. I think but that's just who thought. I am. <laughs> I mean, but she was a thought and she was open about it. We was still, we still was thought and about it without having to open the, co- the and open I, conversation. And I think the good thing about having a teacher too is that, yes, you could talk about pleasure, but you can also like guide it because, and it's an adult guiding the conversation because otherwise it's just them Your talking peers. to their friends oh, which is who don't know friends. anything. Don't know shit. Mm. So like an adult can say, yeah, it does feel great, but honestly there's emotional things and like you're just not mature enough. No one tells and, you like, that. No Talk one tells you about the emotions that you'll they be They do not mention the it emotions. It should just be like a whole, yeah. like, a for little boys too. I think it's very important. Like, you know, we're t- telling men to like stick their dick in everything. And, you know, we're all at that age, I think, just so open to feeling something new and becoming obsessed with it, that obsessive stage. Mm-hmm. And I think what boys can end up feeling can cause them a lot of pain later in life. Like a lot of these bitches in high school birth ho ass niggas, you know what I'm saying? Hurt hey. people, hurt people. Yeah. And they always remember that one bitch that broke their heart in sixth grade. Fuck her. Damn. Damn. This is true. I remember, yeah, I just wanted to fuck when I was like, <laughs> I just wanted to get it over with. I'm way more emotional than I was when I was like a kid. Like it's bad. I was a better hoe in high school. I'm not gonna lie, but it's also because we was dealing with grown ass niggas. Woo! That right, that's all right. Sorry, sorry. That's See, problematic. Y'all need a school teacher to help guide. No, I, well, and I agree, and I think that it. Again, yeah, I think it is kids teaching kids, like you said, because it's not like it's not happening. Whether there's education around it or not, there's it. It's happening. Yeah, you know what I mean. And you get that so, itch. That you just do. Or <laughs> now I can only imagine with Instagram. Bitch, I go on Twitter. It's on my timeline. Like now it's way more in your face than it was with us. Mm-hmm. So praying for these kids. Yeah, mm-hmm. I ain't going to hold you. That's a different motherfucking thing. All right. So before we get out of here, let's do our motherfucking home mail. If you have not yet sent us one, please do. We are going through them. You can send it to us at horribledecisions at gmail.com. Again, that's our home mail. This one, since it's a couch of women, and I think it has all happened to us at some point, or maybe we've exuded it. I thought that we could help. Uh, it looks like a gentleman asking. Oh, the title it's not is, about head. You want to hear the title? How do I flirt with girls and not be a creep? Interesting. Hi, Mandy and Wheezy. I desperately, I desperately need advice on how to talk to women. I've been with my. Oh no, this is a girl. This is a girl. Oh, okay. I have been with my husband for fifteen years, but have always been super attracted to women. 
I want to have a threesome so bad and my husband is down, but with that, with the condition that I bring the girl. My husband is amazing at eating pussy and my fantasy is for him to teach me during a threesome possibly. The problem is I have no idea when it comes to talking to women. Ironically, I no no game when it comes to talking to women. Ironically, I'm a sex worker and have been for almost 20 years. I have game I have game for days when it comes to attracting men, but I cannot get out of my shyness when it comes to hitting on women. It's so bad that I've had women hit on me and I've been too shy to respond even when I wanted to. I just get super awkward and run away. Women are super intimidating and just don't know how to even start and I just don't know how to start even trying to hit on a woman. What is rude versus not? How can I tell when a girl is bisexual? How do women flirt with women? I really don't know. I seriously have zero game, but I want to fuck a girl so bad. Please help. Signed, a no game having hoe. This uh, is interesting. I was going to say, I would, if, if you're a sex worker, I would just like break the seal and pay a sex worker and have a threesome first that way. So you have your first experience with someone who is experienced. And then after that, I think once you know what it's like, you'll be a little bit comfortable fucking women. But initially i think it's probably really difficult to you know get out there and just start flirting with someone just off the bat and you have no experience with that like it's gonna be awkward maybe you want your husband to lead it but then at the same time uh. it may be weird for that person so honestly the only thing i do with flirting is tell people they're pretty and it works what about y'all okay tell me if this is a bad advice because i do not know anything of the realm with women apps like I see a lot of people on the apps and they're like, that, yep. I am a couple seeking blah, 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 blah. And I feel like it's easier. Like I've talked to some couples on apps and like, I think it's easy to you live life, bitch. <laughs> I mean, I haven't done anything, but like, I've been curious. So like, you know, okay. you start, you vet, you see what's going Unless on. You're one of those. Yeah. <laughs> I do, I do, I do, I haven't, she has talked about women like that. I haven't dead crossed end girls. the bridge. Well, it's mostly because I'm like, Mm. Are they not forward enough? Because I'd yeah. be like, yo, let's go eat. And then I just pick an expensive restaurant because nobody ever wants to say no to that. Yeah, I don't I don't know. It, they just haven't like, I haven't been able to commit. But anywho, I think it's easier to talk when you're maybe not in person. You could be a little bit okay. more like flirty via messaging. And then, I don't know, just set it up and have a couple shots. Be a little flirty. So I was about to say, Once like, you eat a pussy, it'll all go away. Just get a sex worker since you are one because you probably have a decent network and they can find you someone. Once you do that, like... How do you learn how to do that? You don't need to learn. They're, they're like, literally, tell them it's your first time. I think that's a great thing. Oh, and she said cool. her man's going to teach her... She Honestly, wants her man to send teach me a her pic. how to eat pussy. <laughs> right. Or just Call hit Shade. Up. You know what I mean? Shade's <laughs> like, actually, sis, you don't even have to go looking. This I'm right sounds kind of hot. You know? I'm into, like, her man's going to teach her how to eat the pussy. Like, because my porn, my favorite stuff is, like, Talking. teacher, doctor, like. I mean, I'll also let some, like, if I'm, if, if I catch a vibe with someone and say I'm flirting with them and I feel like they're flirting back, even if they're not flirting back, I'll make a joke and be like, just so you know, I like girls. So if you're going to keep flirting with me, this may, you know, this That's may nice. go somewhere. And so I let them know offhand, like I'm, I feel like you may be advancing. I'm going to let you know. I'm going to take it there if that's what you're into. I had to tell a friend recently who got too wasted. Like, oh, I feel so bad. But she's just like really pretty. And I've wanted to have sex with her for a long time. <laughs> so she gets wasted. She comes back to my place. She's like, oh, my God, we got to watch 90 Day Fiance. And I, we're on the couch. She's like, no, we got to get in the bed. I'm tired, bitch. And I was like, bro, you can't get in my bed. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have a second bedroom. You can sleep in there or you can sleep on this couch. But you can't get in my bed. She's like, why? I was like, you know why. <laughs> I'm glad you said that because I've had yeah. friends just take advantage of me. Yeah, yeah, no. I, I mean, I, I let it be very clear. And as a woman, but I wanted her to be like, okay, <laughs> yeah, but she but the, but how we like jokingly do that? I think it's important for if you're interested in that, you could even have the joke with you know saying, yeah, and my man's gonna watch just to see a reaction. You can jokingly throw things out there that you really are comfortable with, but just to gauge the temperature in the room. Right. I mean, like, shit, the nigga, I, oh, I didn't even tell the story, but the nigga I met in Jamaica, I let him know when he comes, I said, well, you know, I have a boyfriend, so maybe you can join us at the sex club. Didn't say much else after that. But, like, I threw hmm. out there that he already knew I had a boyfriend. I told him I had a boyfriend. I said, yes, my boyfriend's giving me permission to speak to you. So he knew what the dynamic was. And then I, he's like, well, if I come up, I still want to But are we out. talking about, like, a DP situation? I've never done it. But I don't know what size he is. 
And so I don't know if I would be in. Just because, imagine but, me and they're like, hey, just technically for this to work, I need to know if you're able. And then I sent my <laughs> nigga the picture of him and his response was, at least you're consistent. Because <laughs> they look like brothers. But, they're you know. know. Both, both oh, fun. no, they look real close. That's kind of hot. Um, and then, Charles, <laughs> I guess before we get out of here, what advice would you give with flirting or gauging the temperature of another yeah woman. vanilla bean strawberry yeah this is, from, bean. I, this is why i asked her i wanted a van- vanilla bean take because she's doing sex workers then we're both just saying well let them know we eat pussy but y'all are just and, like and then i just creep on her <laughs> <laughs> so like from a vanilla standpoint how would you oh my gauge? god not a vanilla standpoint <laughs> go, go ahead vanilla strawberry bean you're gonna see <laughs> Keep waiting. See what Whoa. I mean? Whoa. So wait, wait, no, is this, wait, no, is this party. where, is, oh. this, is this where I say, Chelsea, just so you know, I like girls, sis. Stop flirting with me, so, bitch. <laughs> bitch. And then she says okay. it with a smile. I'm like, bitch, you've been flirting with me and I'm feeling it. But this is why I say when she came in the room, she'd be playing. Because <laughs> she'd been, she been playing for the last three years like I ain't been flirting with her. Oh my I'm God. Like, damn, this bitch. You, you came back from, from not, jump. Let's Chelsea just not even. A fucking tea. Thank you guys so no, much I'm for not. listening to I'm Horrible curious. Decisions. <laughs> Black Girl Texting is with us today. No, I'm sorry. Wow. You know what? Sorry. Let's Go. get into your show. Where can people find you? <laughs> Okay, no, my only advice, I was going to uh, say maybe uh-huh. like a lesbian bar because... I'm, would you like to join me? That's terrible. I've been to one. <laughs> Look, no, no, do you want to do some catch, promo for the show? <laughs> you, can, <laughs> you can catch a lesbian at a lesbian bar. How to catch a lesbian with Chrissy Hansen. <laughs> oh my God. Um, yes. <laughs> she said you can God. catch them. Um, like we're going fishing. I'm, all right, I'm fish. Shade, you know? Know? <laughs> Let's catch a lesbian. Oh. All right. How to, all right. <laughs> Where can our listeners listen to Black Girls Texting and find you on social media? Guys? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, Black Girls Texting. Y'all can find us on Spotify, iTunes. Oh, I got to oh. fucking update the SoundCloud. My bad. Um, and we're on Podcast One, so their website. And we are at Black Girls Texting on social, on all the socials. Chelsea really is trying to push this wrong. Twitter. So Black Girls Text One, but I don't even know how Twitter works. So <laughs> there. Um, and then what else? Oh, you can email us. Hello at blackgirlstexting.com. We welcome hotels as well. Tell us all your drama and cop some merch on blackgirlstexting.com. Yes. What else am I missing? Your personal Instagram? Oh, y'all don't want to find me yet. <laughs> we'll put it in the description. Actually, they might. <laughs> Bitch, you out here offering to hop in a relationship. Oh, true, right. true. Well, email me. At hello. Oh, wow. Black like professional. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like me said, professional. Email me if, if you, you want me to join me, you and your email husband. Me. <laughs> I'm on LinkedIn. <laughs> That's so and sexy. Chelsea, go ahead and let them know electronically which, where they can find you. Oh, Chels Pinky <laughs> or Chels Strawberry. What's I'm the, leaving. Wait, is one a Finsta? No, just it's just she's making oh, it up. We've, we, we, we've had enough. Join us on Patreon, you guys. <laughs> Yo, where we uh, are not vanilla. <laughs> Also, if you haven't yet, if you're new and you want to become a member of the Whore Hive, you can do so by copying some merch. We do have a summer drop coming soon. Spring, summer collection, you know, super excited about that. Ready to wear. I am so ready to wear, bitch. As soon as I'm not looking like a lobster, bitch, I'm going to be out here naked. No, I mean like ready to wear like the collect, like RTW. I Uh, picked up like uh, clothing. Yeah. You said spring, summer, ready to wear is what? Like um, spring, summer footwear, spring, summer ready to so wear. So what happened is I don't really go to like the bougie stuff during fashion week. So I don't know the difference. Mandy in, in, came in here wearing a Fendi jacket. Loose yeah, I like, yeah, but those, are, those are a little bit. Of, I just do one label like an outfit. Like it's not like I do a lot. I mean, that's ready to wear. But anyway. Oh, okay. <laughs> On anyway, our, cops and merch. We have our tour tea com, y'all. that's only 12 bucks. It's almost sold out. And it will be the last of it our is. tour tees. We have vintage out here, y'all. It'll be a throwback that you could sell right. in the future for men. And um, yes, on our Patreon, we do once a month town halls. You can watch behind the scenes stuff um, of us in our apartments, how we get ready for our, our shows. Um, sorry, my period's really kicking in. Okay. All right, guys, we are going to leave you with a five minute bonus clip of our Patreon episode. If you love it, join us at Patreon. That's patreon.com backslash horrible decisions. And Weezy just told you everything you get. And thank you, ladies, for joining us here on Horrible Decisions. It has been yet another episode of Horrible Decisions. Bye. 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 Hold on. Fruit roll ups on the t- tip of the dick while you suck it. Okay, first of all, bitch. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, you know what I'd be thinking about sometimes when people come out with tips like this? 
Like, <clears throat> I feel like that's side bitch type of tips. Like you got to do some wild out the box shit. Like you're showing out type shit. Like if I get cheated on and I find out there was a fruit roll up on his dick, I'm going to be like, I understand because I wasn't going to do it. That is the most insane fucking shit. But How old are you? And way. where are you even buying fruit roll ups from? Crystal, can you please unmute your mic? Because I also have a question um, to what comes next. So Crystal with a K. Crystal with a K. If you can unmute your mic and share this fruit no, roll up. Crystal with a C. Crystal with what a C. What does this look like? Oh, so when you talk about a fruit roll up on dick, you don't want to have your video on. That's what we do. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. Oh. Okay, so uh, you is put the penis in the back, or is that a microphone? It is. It's a penis microphone. You have a penis microphone. Of course, no, no, I wish that I did. is, a, I wish that I is did. a green screen. Can you act it's like you screen. understand production with your TV <laughs> having ass? <laughs> Bitch. Oh, for real. <laughs> Damn. So Crystal, here's my question because we do talk about pH and we uh, had a guest who thought honey uh, on the coochie was okay. So I want to ask you before you, that dick gets inserted into your vagina, do you wipe it off with a rag or do you really put fruit roll up dick in your pussy? She looked like she suck it off and have green discharge. Suck later. it all off. No, I really suck it all off. <laughs> I suck it all off. Crystal, what are you, Dominican? Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. See, it's the, it's, <laughs> it's the, it's the God damn it. What? <laughs> you, gotta, you remember Venus came on talking about, I use the honey packets. It's always them, but I ain't doing all of that. Yeah, that's a lot. That is a whole lot. Nicole, what you be doing? They say white girls give the best head. Unmute yourself. Tell us your tap. Yeah, Nicole, can I also ask you if you've ever been offended if someone's called you Becky? Uh, no, Karen's annoying, but Karen is annoying. Yeah, I can understand that. Can I also, but I've ask... never been called a Karen. What, what about, well, I'm not with I, that I shirt. You better not. <laughs> <laughs> when, when the song Becky came out, did you take pride in that? There is a song with <laughs> Becky. Oh God. This wait. is really, <laughs> no, bitch, you're really white. You're telling me, are you joking right now, Nicole? How old are you? I don't, I'm 25. That's why. You're telling me you have never heard the Negro spiritual. <laughs> uh, maybe if I uh, play I'm it. listening. I'm playing it. Hold on. Alexa, connect the phone. We hear it. Oh. <laughs> you know, you're fucking it up. Let me put it on. All right. Sorry. Here we go. Alexa, volume 10. Oh, there we go. There we go. I don't know this. <laughs> no. She was like, whoa, no. we know you bitches no. are from Florida, but calm the fuck down. <laughs> oh, wait, Rashida just said it's not an age thing. So is this a location shame? No, she's like... trying to tell us we're hood rats. But anyway, uh, <laughs> Nicole, do you have any? <laughs> no, not you, Nicole, Rashida. Oh, my God. <laughs> wait, can you also look at the whole chat? There's quite a few people who have never heard the Becky song. We'll put it in the we'll put it in the uh, description of this episode. But Nicole, tell us, do you have because they do say white girls give the best blowjobs. Do you have a blowjob tip? Because we need to prove that this is a myth. Um, no, not really. I just she, <laughs> she just sucks dick. She just sucks dick. White girls are just yeah. They just suck dick. I just suck it. <laughs> uh, like yeah, I just like use one hand and I suck at the same time and use my tongue like. Never had any complaints. Well, good for you. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you. We ain't getting these fruit roll ups out. Shit. I know that's right. Well, I guess let's get into our Hori Blade decision. Um, and as always for the town hall, we kind of like to recap, allow you guys to give us some feedback or your thoughts on the episodes that came out during the month of february we don't kind of like to recap do y'all notice that mandy does that everybody nod if you do what? Mandy, like, we're kind of getting get into no we are getting into it we you are fin you finished or you done it'd be kind of because the way you be interrupting i don't know if we really gonna get through it or not so. ma'am you're the interrupter bitch are you kidding you know what all right all who's right. worse 
No, 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 no. We got to take was, a poll, my I nigga, because I'm ass, interrupting, but I know you be interrupting. I was dead ass giving shout outs and you start reading comments as if I'm not talking. Like, look, I, I see the nods going on. You know what I mean? Nah, fuck you. So, 